Hi all, and welcome to September. Well, it's been quite a while since my last uh, entry. We have a new Prime Minister, Prime Minister Noda, who was Finance Minister under the, uh, the last government, for the British viewers out there. And has, he has already begun uh, appointing people he lost or rather people he beat as, as to be Prime Minister of Japan such as Mahara, Mahara rather, and uh, Azawa allies in order to consolidate his power for those in Britain by the way Azawa represents a similar per character to Gordon Brown or Peter Mandelson the, whatever people the real power behind the throne, it's very difficult to explain the concept of those outside of Japan, but it's where he's called the Shadow Shogun. So Azawa and his friends are seen as the real power behind it, the, you know, the kingmaker. Secondly, a typhoon is coming towards Japan, again, which receives very little interest in BBC News. And thirdly, although it's the main story, it's just I'm going through here, is the uh, Fukushima beef is being ex export, well, export moved around Japan at least. I don't know if we get, we, we have beef set from that part of the world sent to Britain at all, but if we do, we're getting it. And uh, rice from that area is also being moved around the country, so that's good news. And right now I come to something which I want to be talk about. For, I wanted to talk about for ages, and that's the notion of tiger drama in Japan. I must confess one of my guilty pleasures, and I love tiger drama. For those of us outside tiger drama, ti outside Japan, tiger drama is a, a form of a well, it's, it's a slot being done on NHK, the Japanese Broadcasting Corporation. So analogous to the BBC, and about eight o'clock, I think, on Saturdays every, every every year since about the formation of NHK, which I think was in the sixties. There's always been a a drama based on the lives of elder statesmen in, in uh, Japan. For example, at the moment, it's the it's about the wife of the second Tokugawa shogunate. Bef a year ago, it was about. Roma Sakamoto. I have always loved this, I must confess I say it, being someone who tried to write plays, I've always loved this kind of drama because it, 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 it adheres to the simple rules of writing dramas. There is a, a, a bad guy who will be beaten and a good guy who has, a, has some kind of Grecian flaw, some kind of Achilles heel whether it be, for, for example, in the case of Roma, then it was his own pride slash political conviction. So I really like that stuff. I always feel it's a form that we could bring back into Britain, because we used to have this quite often. And it, it wasn't, it was highly nationalistic, it's simple drama. And you could, you could update this to the 21st century quite easily without being insulting to modern day leaders. For example, I'm trying to write a, a play about Miki Kiyoshi, a Japanese philosopher who, just to give a very short resume, born 1897, member of the Communist Party, later in life, went, studied under Nishida Kataro, jailed, and died in prison in the fighters. Yet, that bare bones of it doesn't sound like it's very flattering. But, uh, and it would be quite easy to say, to say at the same time that it was all his fault. It wasn't. Or rather, all the, Jap all the, uh, the government's fault. The government at this point, remember, is actually America. This is 1945 when he died, not, not the Japanese, but he had one Persian floor, as it were, one Grecian floor. He uh, made very bad decisions. I mean, 
of this form of drama. Anyway, I just thought I'd put that out there. And I just thought I'd make a plea. Anyone can inform me in, in Britain about anything that's going on this latest typhoon, and I'd be grateful, because you get very little news about it here. So, if you have any news, please do tell. Cheers.